part of that value chain conversation is what exactly is going on here today at the conference at the Kenya School of Monetary Studies, the, well, Kenya Fresh Produce Exporters Association and other organizations and stakeholders being here today to deliberate on just how to make that much better, improve the value chain, improve income for farmers, well, improve the conversation around food handling and safety, not just here in Kenya, but across the world and in terms of harmonization of standards. Well, to speak more into that conversation, well, we have with me here, uh, well, two guests who have been instrumental to putting this conference together. Well, of course, the live pictures that you can see right now being those of inside the conference and the fact that they have had breakout sessions right across the day to discuss various aspects of the value chain, be they stakeholders at the farming level, be they traders, be they brokers, well, be they people at the top of the value chain in terms of exports. So looking at just how much value the farmers get, how that can be improved in terms of safety, handling, standardization, and that entire conversation. Well, to speak into that, I have with me several guests. We'll start off with Mr. Sylvester Miner. He is the chairman of KEFE. This is the Kenya Association of Fruit and Vegetable Exporters. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Well, first off, the conversation, of course, uh, everyone is, ha is wondering about is what exactly is your organization and what are you doing here today? I'll reintroduce my association. We yes. are the Kenya Association of Fruits and Vegetable Exporters. Mm -hmm. Uh, really the association of small and medium-sized exporters. Yes. Our mandate really is to bring together small-scale yes. uh, farmers mm -hmm. uh, plus their partners being the exporters, uh, uh, small and medium-sized, yes. and help them in training and uh, linking them to markets out, out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we talk about training, uh, we, we teach them how to produce safe produce mm -hmm. for the market locally here and abroad. Mm -hmm. uh, we are informed that uh, recently we shipped uh, our offtake to Europe was 95 billion Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. uh, the locally uh, consumed produce yes. was to the tune of 150 billion shillings. Yes. Uh, uh, whereas we give a lot of priority to the quality of produce exported and forget what we eat here in Kenya and that is what we are about today to shout mm -hmm. and tell everyone that we need to um, uh, review how we grow, how we uh, produce, how we transport the produce mm -hmm. and here with me uh, is, is a colleague Yes. From uh, uh, Mr. Well, Epic. Apollo, maybe you can mm -hmm. hand the microphone over to him. You. Mr. Apollo, what is the chairman of the Kenya Fresh Produce Exporters Association of Kenya, FPIC? Uh, we want to talk to uh, you about the value chain, how this essentially uh, moves from where the farmers are on the ground and, uh, well, how it gets into the uh, Kenyan value chain and the export market. What can you talk to us about what you're doing here today? Our main role is uh, first to sensitize uh, a, a, a group of people and, and bringing in a team of uh, experts yes. to articulate various issues that are of concern, especially with regard to food safety and uh, also on our competitiveness as a, as a market, as mm -hmm. Kenyan uh, market into the both domestic and the regional and uh, global arena. Mm -hmm. Here we have brought together uh, expertise from the uh, private sector, from public sector, from uh, institutions, the universities, who are then able to, uh, to uh, break down various issues that uh, are, uh, define what the consumer's perspective on, f on uh, food is, is all about. Mm -hmm. And as you are aware, I think the key thing and the key ingredient is of what we consume, uh, we, that we need to leverage agriculture and uh, food safety. Mm -hmm. So that uh, this forms a very uh, clear component that what we sell is able to compete effectively in the global market. Mm -hmm. And also uh, what we sell uh, locally is also able to be assimilated uh, by our consumers without any due regard to ill health and uh, other foodborne illnesses that we've seen in the, in the recent past. Mm -hmm. uh, that of course is the conversation around the value chain. A lot of the stuff we are talking about comes from the counties. I'll ask the gentleman from the counties to step forward. Uh, essentially, uh, this is uh, the man who is at uh, well the helm of an association of various CECs who are in charge of growing farmers and enabling farmers be able to get into this value chain. Uh, please uh, uh, tell us what your name is and uh, which county you come from and what exactly this uh, body that you represent does. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. My name is uh, Dr. Moses Osia Mwanje. 
Yes. I am the chair of the CC Caucus for Agriculture in the yes. 47 counties. Mm -hmm. And basically, we know that uh, from the 2010 when you got the new constitution, yes. and of course now from 2013 when we began new government structures, mm -hmm. Agriculture became a devolved function. Yes. And so basically all that you talk about production has taken place in the counties. Mm -hmm. And I must say that uh, all the 47 county governments have taken very keen interest in terms of uh, production of both fruits, vegetables and other food crops. Yes. And so it's also our major interest that the, this kind of campaign mm -hmm. is taken back to the ground. Mm -hmm. Increase awareness, build capacity of, of our farmers mm -hmm. so that they can be able to produce more and more. And also ensure that uh, what farmers produce has got ready market. Yes. You know that sometimes our farmers can toil so much, but if there's no red market for their efforts, mm -hmm. you find that they get discouraged. Mm -hmm. And so really this is a very important function or event or conference where farmers can get to know whatever that they grow, mm -hmm. is there a market for it mm -hmm. or not? Mm -hmm. And then also how do they show that whatever they grow is well handled yes. along the value chain so that uh, even the ultimate consumer mm -hmm. can have something of quality? Yes. Uh, one perspective that has been on everyone's mind is that uh, up to now, the average age of an African farmer is north of 60. <laughs> we have this huge uh, youth bulge in this country and across yeah. Africa mm -hmm. that uh, agriculture has not been able to really take care of. First, uh, what do we do in terms of mechanization, value addition, and that sort of conversation to be able to attract the youth to start to come into the agriculture conversation? I think first I want to agree with you that uh, the future of agriculture in this country yes. is in the young people. Mm -hmm we must be able to put into place some deliberate efforts to ensure that fa young people can uh, take farming as a business. Mm -hmm. And of course, the young people, they like technologies. They like to do things that are really driven by power and driven by machines. Mm -hmm. And so, as county governments, ours has been to see how do we bring in mechanization to the young people and how do we, how do we encourage them mm -hmm. to, say, uh, do farming and make it actually a cool business. Yes. And so, in some of the counties now, they have been able to acquire tractors for plowing land, even for, uh, for planting, for applying some fertilizers, and this is for harvesting. And uh, most importantly, is on value addition. Mm -hmm. You know, that's now you can be able to get money from, um, from farming. Yes. If you can't be able to add value into what you grow, it means that you're only growing for others to add value and get money from that. Mm -hmm. And so our young people can be able to play a very key role mm -hmm. when it comes to both uh, pla pl planting and even validation to whatever they grow yes. on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, very quickly, because we're almost out of time, the fact that uh, counties have been investing heavily in the agriculture value chain, uh, be it uh, developing markets, schooling facilities, basically modernizing infrastructure that will then enable these farmers bring their standards up to international standards and get much more of the crops to markets. Uh, do you think I uh, think we are doing enough in terms of efforts to be able to enable farmers at the county level be able to transport their goods abroad and to other markets. I think I must say that a lot requests to be done yes. to support our farmers on the ground mm -hmm. in terms of finances, transportation, uh, uh, knowledge uh, building and uh, all that requires for them to be able to export the, 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 the produce. Mm -hmm. And also putting into place some of the very key uh, laws and uh, policies to support that in the, in the, in the counties. Mm -hmm. And also to ensure that uh, we minimize what yes. you might call uh, unnecessary bottles along the value chain, mm -hmm. like now levies that sometimes can also affect uh, uh, exporters or transporters. Yes. And so we want to try to harmonize all those things. Yes. So, and we're saying that uh, counties should be able to sit together. Yes. And I'm glad about the Council of Governors. Yes. And ensure that things like, say, levies can be harmonized. Mm -hmm. And uh, put into place some very good yes. uh, and very friendly yes. uh, laws to support uh, the farm okay. on the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. Indeed, sir, thank you very much for your, uh, your time. It is an interesting conversation yeah. and one that definitely we want to keep coming back to in order to enable farmers get that much more out of uh, their crops. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, too. Well, on that note, we want to bring that conversation to a close. But of course, the conversation here at the Kenya School of Monetary Studies being the fact that this conference does continue till the end of the, the day. And of course, the conversation does continue even at the grassroots. Of course, it has been the fact that stakeholders have met here to be able to deliberate and chat a way forward for farming, exports, the entire value chain right across the country and across East Africa. Well, we want to thank you for joining us and say this is it for KTN Business Today. This special edition coming to you live from Thika Road at the Kenya School of Monetary Studies. It has been a great time having you. My name is Peter Kaba. Of course, the news continues on KTN News, but we'll be back again at the same time tomorrow with more here on KTN Business Today. Do have yourselves a good afternoon and Kwaheri. Thank you.